Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm going to be modifying some uh, generic uh, soldering tips to fit a Hakko 888 uh, soldering iron. So basically the problem with these tips is with the tips that the Hakko comes with, as you can see, that heating element goes most of the way up. Whereas with the generic tips, you can see it doesn't quite go as high up inside of the tip. So what we're going to do is use the uh, Dremel tool here. We're going to grind down about a millimeter and a half, two millimeters off of here. So first thing we're going to do is take our Vernier caliper and we're going to measure how deep the Hackle brand tip is. So the way we're going to do that is with the bottom point there, and we're going to push it down like that. So as you can see, that is 2.3 centimeters, or 2.31 centimeters about. And let me measure the generic brand. As you can see, it is uh, 2.4, 2.5. So we're going to take about a millimeter and a half or two millimeters off of there. As you may be able to see, I'm rotating the bit of my fingers as I go along here. That's just so that I can try and keep an even grind all the way down throughout. I'm trying to keep it as even as possible. And if you can see there, looks like we got about a millimeter off, maybe a millimeter and a half. So stop the Dremel tool here and we'll take a moment to measure that. Okay. So what are we down to here? We are down to 2.4, so it looks like we took about 0.7 of a millimeter off. So we're gonna go down another about half a millimeter. Okay. All right, so as you can see, we're right at about 2.35 centimeters. So two centimeters and 3.5-ish millimeters. And we're just going to take one moment here, grab a little piece of fine sandpaper, fix up those edges real quick, and we're going to pop this in the, uh, in the soldering iron and see how it fits. Okay, so looking at those two side by side. Now you can see they're definitely much closer than they were. I'll show you another one of the generic ones here. As you can see, the generic one is a little bit off from the Hakko brand. And then the modified generic one that we just did is uh, just about, uh, if I could get them level on my finger there, just about right on and they're flat. So, let's see how this guy fits. Mm -hmm. 
might actually have to go there, go through there real quick with a uh, needle file. Okay, so we've got a real small needle file here. It's gonna go around the inside quick. That's just obviously when we're on the inside there, got a little bit of burring. Slides on nicely. Let's see how it sits on there. Okay, and it sits the way it should. So, I will uh, actually make a video likely comparing the two, just to uh, demonstrate that the, the modified ones do work a little bit better. Um, the reason being is uh, if, if the tip is a little bit longer than the heating element, naturally you'll have a, a gap at the end. Um, and that gap is just going to be air inside of there. And air does not hold or conduct heat as well as metal. Um, so obviously if you shave it down, heating element is right up against the metal and that improves the efficiency of your tip. Uh, so if you bought some generic tips and they're not sitting quite right on your soldering iron and they're not uh, they're not transferring heat as well as you think maybe they should, this could be a pretty quick fix for that. Thanks.